I felt threatened. Why was I in front? You're the big star. On the outside, I was winning. He was out of control. He had all this power. On the inside, I was still that same insecure little boy that was trying to prove something. I was so driven by fear. Janet wanted it to be the Aunt Viv of Bel Air show. I had been banished, and they said it was you who, who banished me. I begged them. I said, I have a family. I need you to tell the world that this stuff didn't happen. If I cut you bad enough, you wouldn't be able to respond. Uh, okay. My dragon woke mm -hmm. up. Redemption was not going to come unless I did it myself. Janet Hubert revealed that Will Smith destroyed her life. I lost everything. The one thing I do regret, to have to have worked with someone like you. The vomit that you spewed, I still reek of it. Only you know and I know what the truth is yeah. about all of this. I just wanted to know one thing. Why? At 21, I was trying to be the biggest star in the world. Mm. I grew up in a household where I was scared and watched my father beat my mother up. So I was going to build the complete opposite of that. I was doing an album, a movie, and the TV show every year. I was on top of the world. The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air was a hit. We were all just one big, happy family. But Will's co-star, Janet Hubert, wouldn't play the mom role he wanted her to. He was young, he was out of control in his own way. He had all this power. There was a, a need for me to have professionalism on the set because I was used to it. Janet Hubert was cast as my Aunt Viv, an accomplished actress from Broadway. She was in the parental figure. Yes. Desperately needed her approval. I felt threatened with Janet. I needed mommy to think I was great and then once I realized that she didn't, my dragon woke up. Mm -hmm. Hurt by Janet's disapproval, Will complained about her to whoever would listen. People laughing and people having fun was my defense mechanism. I realized the other side of it was if I cut you bad enough, you wouldn't be able to respond. Uh, okay. On a radio interview, I said that Janet wanted it to be the Aunt Viv of Bel Air show. Then they ordered me to stay in my room. I couldn't come out on the stage, and I wasn't unprofessional on the set. I just stopped talking to everybody because I didn't know who to trust. They offered me this really bad deal in the third season to put me in my place. So I said no. In season four, Janet was replaced. I had been banished, and they said it was you who, who banished me because I didn't laugh at your jokes. Will had taken Janet down and soon left her behind as he rose to stardom. As a little boy, I saw this family, I saw this life. Externally, our family was winning. I had a public perception. He had the public that perception. I'm what my kids are and what my wife is and what we are. I'm parenting the hell out these kids, right? Like. <laughs> as Will was creating his perfect life, Janet tried to clear her name, but no one believed her. Nowhere did it ever say I was fired. The only person who ever said that, sweetie, was you. The one thing I do regret in my life was ever taking that role to have to have worked with someone like you. I wish you had thought about my family. I wish you had thought about the consequences of your actions. Will ignored Janet's cries for help. He was too busy demanding approval from his new family. This house is called Her Lake because I wanted it to be a gift to Jada for mm. her approval. I remember saying, like, I built this house for you. And she said, you built this house for you. Will, throw away everything. Damn. What do we have? There was a period where mommy woke up and cried 45 days straight. I think that's the worst I've ever felt in our marriage. I was failing miserably. On the inside, I was still that same insecure little boy that was trying to prove something. To have to let go of the dream was devastating. Will had to accept that he was hurting his family. That kind of disapproval from women is the central greatest pain in my life. What's actually happening is someone you care about is hurt mm -hmm. and they're desperately seeking loving kindness. Mm -hmm. My relationship with Willow has been a major mm -hmm. part of healing 
Willow's the only female relationship I've ever had that I didn't mess up. Any relationship in trying to get to deeper understanding of love is going to be forged in fire. But his family weren't the only ones hurt by him demanding approval. I asked Janet to sit down with me. I wanted us to seek healing. I don't know your story. I was going through a lot at home. Very abusive marriage. How do you survive with a mortgage and a new baby and a husband who wasn't working at the time? We lost our house. I lost everything. Thank you for sharing that with me. When I look back now, it's, you know, it's obvious that you were having a hard time. I have children. I've been divorced. I can see now the level of pain and the level of struggle that it was for you just to show up every day. Will took responsibility for what he did to Janet. I didn't realize the power of your words. Of my words and what that would, you know, how that would affect you. My right. actions and behavior were flawed and hurtful. The person I want to be is someone who protects you, not someone that unleashes dogs on you. I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. By righting his wrongs, Will finally built the healthy family he dreamed of, and it included Janet. I could not do a 30-year celebration of this show and not celebrate you. Celebrate your contribution to the show, celebrate your contribution to my life. It feels really good because we both needed it so desperately from each other. Like it really don't matter whose fault it is that something is broken, if it's your responsibility to fix it. Power is in taking responsibility. Your heart, your life, your happiness is your responsibility and your responsibility alone. Taking responsibility is taking your power back.